good morning everyone welcome to task for today one for target 21 aspirants the topic for today is topic one sociology the discipline there are three subtopics but we will be doing the first subtopic which is modernity and social changes in Europe as well as emergence of sociology so we have three keywords first one is modernity second one is social changes and third one is emergence of sociology now you should understand that these are in a flow chart kind of manner first comes modernity it brings along with it certain social changes and then sociology emerges out of it you have to refer to two sources first one will be ignu eso 13 booklet unit 1 emergence of sociology in europe second source that to that you will read is Ritzer chapter 1 which is historical sketch okay Ignu is a bit factual and the factual part is more than the analytical part in Ritzer it's the opposite that is the analytical part is more than the factual part but you have to master both therefore you will read both these sources we will be reading about four revolutions first one is commercial revolution second one scientific revolution third French revolution and fourth industrial revolution commercial revolution and scientific revolution combinedly are known as the renaissance they took place in 1450 to 1800 period french revolution 1789 industrial revolution between 1760 to 1830 okay sociology emerged in the 1800s although before this period also there were many studies but those thinkers they did not identify themselves as sociologists so 1800 we have sociologists in picture right now industrial revolution it established a new economic order as you must be knowing this is capitalism it was a landmark in the history of mankind because apart from being an economic form of government you can say it affected family work religion polity and other social institutions another noteworthy point was that it affected all strata of people all sections of people now what happened before capitalism there was some kind of government that old social order order that means a way of doing things it must have had certain norms customs culture this was disrupted because of the advent of capitalism and it brought 
chaos also at the same time a new social order was established when we say social order it means we are talking about social structure and social structure means social institutions right so if a new social order was established it means uh, there was a new social structure and there were new social institutions when this happened the thinkers they wanted to know why this was happening and this started tracking the changes taking places in place in society they started with capitalism then they found that industrial revolution was its cause industrial revolution was affected in some way by french revolution also but you can say that they coexisted and the major cause of french revolution was renaissance renaissance was also responsible for industrial revolution we'll see why the renaissance it included commercial revolution plus scientific revolution commercial revolution that means the way that trade was being carried out was changed people invented new methods sea routes this led to europeanization there were new discoveries similarly scientific revolution it brought new methods of doing things also study of human this was one of the major contributions of scientific revolution because of these two revolution there was a change in thought new ideals came up reason started gaining importance people started questioning old order old customs religion was questioned old polity like monarchy was questioned so a live example was the french society with all these changes took place earlier we had a traditional society now it became a modern society earlier land was important now factories were important they changed the economy similarly earlier there were three classes the nobility the clergy and the peasants plus merchants plus artisans plus bourgeoisie now a new middle class was there similarly religion earlier it was the moral authority now we had constitution okay family kinship they lost importance now people were interested in ideals of liberty equality fraternity brotherhood universal brotherhood 
these things this was more important than family monarchy which was thought to be divine now it was replaced by democracy okay so we can see how change in thought led to change in society and this was the point of interest of sociologist earlier they were simply thinkers from various backgrounds some were from and through some were economists others were political scientists but now they wanted to be known as the proponents of a new discipline which would study society and that would be known as sociologist so they chose to be called as sociologists okay what would this new discipline do it would study society and study social relationships social institutions and this was as a part of studying the after effect of capitalism capitalism at that time was seen to be as a boon but it had positive as well as negative effects because it negatively affected family family structure now it broke down the joint family system and nuclear family system came up similarly in the factory conditions were not good workers suffered so there were problems also and all these things the sociologist wanted to study they wanted to study and they also wanted to make a difference so what you can see is they wanted to change they wanted to bring a change bring a positive difference and thus evolved or emerged a new discipline which is sociology later on it came to india also and we also started study sociology so today you have to study these two topics from ignu and ridza right and if you have any problem you can drop a message at brainstorming sociology okay and another thing if you feel that you are unable to do it these two chapters then you have to let us know we will attach a note also please go through it and uh, give a feedback thank you